What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jerome Fit. I hope y'all enjoyed the Dragon Ball Z finale last night, because I sure as hell did, man. That shit was epic. Now, today's video, as you already saw in the topic, is talking more about how to develop the chest. When I talked to you guys at the Arnold, and just in general discussion, everybody told me, was telling me how they really enjoyed my uh, no press chest workout to how to truly and really develop your chest. So I'm going to dig deeper and kind of go into that, more into that uh, topic. So this could be part two of our no chest press if you want to call it that. But like I said, I'm going to talk to you about chest development because every dude wants a big ass chest, some big ass arms, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Everybody talks about being balanced or whatever, but at the end of the day, you want to be big chest, big arms, and some abs. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it 100. That's what we want. So I'm gonna tell you how to get it. Not everybody wants to be on stage, bodybuilder, full and complete. Some people, like I said, just want big arms, big chest. You can have that stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, more about uh, the chest anatomy and how to build it. Now, as you guys can see, my chest is developed, all right? Unlike a lot of people make videos, you can't fucking tell people how to build a chest if you don't have one. So, first things first. Why do I say, uh, the no press chest. My experience, okay, because if you know me from years ago, before I even started YouTube, my chest was not fully developed. So I wanted a fully developed chest. So just like everybody, I benched, I benched, I benched and benched. And it just wasn't happening. And it wasn't until I started meeting just other people who were into bodybuilding, uh, into fitness, and they had developed physiques, they told me, hey, I didn't bench press to get my chest. And I was like, oh, is that a fact? So, you know, so let me, get, let me show you something. Everybody knows everything is all about tension. I'm gonna show you on my body how it looks when you bench press, incline, whatever, and you tell me, and you try it on yourself. This is called the tension test. And what I mean by tension test is when the muscle is contracted, how hard is it? Is it does it feel like, is it, I mean, if you make a bicep, you, know, you flex your bicep, is it hard? I mean, is it hard? This is a tension test. All right, so I'm gonna go bench press, so I'm here, boom, out, and I'm gonna squeeze my chest. All right, now let's look here. See that? My chest is not completely, there's a little bit of softness in it. All right, but now check this out. Look up my, my delt. Motherfucker, hard as a rock. This is at contraction, I'm, I'm locked out. This is me locked out on a bench press, boom. And you get the back end too, so you can see what goes on. So here, boom. This is what happens when you bench. Boom, all right? Now, let me show, us, show you what happens when you fly. Then, I'm gonna give you top secret game. So put your student you know, little, little college hats on with a little tassel on it. Let's get put those on, because we about to go to college on these motherfuckers here. I'm gonna show you some next level chest game. Because I told y'all to fly, for a better chest, but I'm gonna give you the next step. Now watch the muscle, now the muscle contraction test, all right? I'm gonna do a, a chest fly, and you tell me what had more chest activation out of it. Now what do you think, <laughs> you, you tell me. Here, or here? What looked more contract? Here, chest flies, right? Listen, <laughs> chest flies. Now here's the next level top secret. This is, the, this is the game you go to the top of the mountain on Kill Bill to talk to Pai Mei with the long beard. This is the next step of a chest fly. So most people go here for chest flies. All right, try this. Watch my chest contract. I'm gonna rotate my wrist to touch each other. Boom, here, uh, I'm gonna rotate my Chest, this is a normal chest fly. Watch my wrist. Here. Boom, look at the chest contraction. So here. See how, I'm, how my wrists are here? I'm not here for my flies. So I'm here. And I'm trying to bring my wrists together and touch. Now, let me go and show you on an actual machine or bench, whatever, how this actually works and put it into play. So I'm gonna start with the D incline first. 
All right, you know, flat incline, doesn't matter. This next level game, I'm telling y'all, man, so, if y'all subscribe, like, people who subscribe to the channel, y'all about to have the edge on people who are not, y'all about to make all these games. Get the games first, but make sure y'all show me some love and be like, yo, Jerron, help me get these, man. Just don't get the games and not show your boy some love, you know what I'm saying? So let's, let's implement these things I just showed you. All right, now, regular chest flies here. We go here, boom, regular chest flies. All right, that's cool. That's good, open the chest up nice and wide, feel the stretch, and squeeze. With your arm fit, next level chest flies is this. Watch my wrist, come up here, like watch my wrist. I'm gonna rotate my wrist inwards like this to where I'm gonna try to get my wrist to touch. Obviously, if I'm using dumbbells, they're not gonna be able to really touch unless you get some fat ass wrist. No, that's the shit right there. So I'm gonna open up. And I'm gonna try to bring my wrist together. Squeeze in my chest. Look at that chest. Oh, man, I got the 15s. Fuck. Y'all know I can go. Now, I'm gonna teach you now. How this works is this. Now think about it. if I roll the waist out this way, right? As I open up, gravity is gonna pull the waist this way. Right? Me just stand from, if I'm here, right? With my wrist locked up in position, here. If I go here, there's no tension on my chest. I don't feel tension on my chest until I'm right about here. And the maximum stretch is here. Boom. But when I'm here, I rotate my wrist outward. As soon as the weight comes, I feel tension on my chest. All the way, oh yeah. Look at that. And I'm freeing the wrist back. Uh, Y'all see this shit. This just shit don't lie, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that next level chest stuff I'm telling you about. Now, this is the thing. This is the thing. What is it, the cart before the horse? Is the cart before the horse? A lot of people have a cart before the horse. If you don't have any meat on your chest or mass, a good foundation, it doesn't matter what you fly or what you do, you're not gonna have any, you're not gonna uh, develop, develop connecting tissue, or excuse me, connecting muscles and nothing, if you don't have any fucking mass. So what you have to do, there is no fucking substitute. As y'all all see, I still bench, Incline and decline. Now, Jerron, are you saying, didn't you just say that we can't blah, 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 blah? To build the foundation, you have to have a foundation. If you bench benching 145 on a bench, you're not gonna have, I don't give a fuck what kind of mind muscle connection you have. If you're benching one plate on the bench, you're not gonna have a big chest. I don't care how you lift the weight if you're not strong. So, yes, you have to have a good foundation of strength. So I'm not telling you not to bench. I'm telling you to bench and do all those things to build up your strength. So when you go to grab a set of dumbbells, you can wrap them out, you can make sweet, tender love to the weight and relax and be good. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling you. Yes, you gotta be strong. In order to have some, yeah, I tell people my no, my no squat uh, leg days or no, 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 no all machine leg stuff, but guess what? Back in my young days, I still had to squat 500 fucking pounds to get some thick legs. I don't have to do it now. But you still have to have a foundation of strength. There is no way around it. And if you don't, it's going to show. Because guess what? Think about this, man. People say, oh, you can't tell. When I stand next to motherfuckers, you know who's stronger. When I'm in a, when I'm in a gym lifting with motherfuckers, we about to press some shit. <laughs> you know what's about to happen. It's no magic. You know what I'm saying? When we have, we have natural muscle. If a person is natural, lean, hard muscle, so they're strong at something. They're fast. Okay, so like I was saying, remember the, the, the key to that next set, next step in the contraction is the wrist. So I'm here, I'm up here, so I'm gonna show it again. Regular chest fly here to here. Nothing wrong with that. If that's how you feel. If you want to take it to the next step, watch my wrist. Obviously, the dumbbells are, you know, man, you're not gonna put your wrist together. But here, look, watch the chest, watch it. So as I'm here, the dumbbells are, oh, I'm out here, and I'm squeeze. Look at that. Ooh. Boom! 
Let's go over here to the cable flies. Yeah, I'm walking like yeah, I'm walking like I talk. Walking like I talk. Walking. I wonder if YouTube probably will hate on me for saying like, can I say the shit YouTube without you hating on me in my videos? Another talk. So again, same idea. See the wrist? Look, look, see how my wrist are here? I can start here, but I'm gonna start here. Wrist flip. Bring the wrist together. Look at that. Oh my. Look at the contraction. Contractions don't lie. Look at that. And you stick the chest out. Okay? And you bring it together. You don't bounce. You don't go. Ah, bah, bah. No, that's not how it works, man. Here. And squeeze. It's like you do the bodybuilding pose. Think about your stage. You are the most muscular. Next to Kyle Green, William Bonac. Uh, next to Jackson, uh, you lucky, uh, uh, yeah. squeeze, see that? I'm bringing my, you ain't gotta grip the fence. You know what I mean? Look at my hands, look, loose. And this is my thing when I tell y'all, there's a difference between bodybuilding and weightlifting. Weightlifting and bodybuilding. Y'all both go to the gym, y'all both operate in the same facility, but y'all have different goals. If you're a weightlifter, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you're a bodybuilder, you can't lift like a weightlifter. The key is though, it's a little, little tip, you have to be a weightlifter first, then you graduate into a bodybuilder. Again, I know a lot of people want to do bodybuilding things first, and you have no foundation. You have to have a good foundation of strength, whether it's squats uh, for your legs, bent over rows, pull-ups for your back, Weighted dips, put, put uh, excuse me, bench, incline for the chest, military shoulder press for the shoulders. You have to have that foundation of strength to get the the, 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 the initial just um, you have to something have something to put details on first. You know what I mean? You can't put you know what I'm saying. You can't help put rims on a car car you don't have. You feel me? So get a foundation first. Get a, some good size on you. Train for strength and power, especially if you're new to the game. If you're new to lifting. You should be focusing on strength anyway, so to get as strong as possible on all your lifts. Just don't work, and don't work on the lifts that you're just good at. That's bullshit. Every last one of your lifts should be good. You should have, I mean, I know people, they'll, they, they, they deadlift 600 pounds, but can't bench 225 for reps. That's an imbalance in strength, and your physique, it will show on your physique. Any imbalances in strength will show on a physique. When you're on stage, doing a bodybuilding show, you can't hide, it's called mandatory poses. Mandatory poses. Everybody has to, cause, cause they know. They people know. And, and by the way, you can do the old flip around, but they know people are doing those poses to hide certain things. That's why you have to do your mandatory poses. Because guess what? The man and those mandatory poses are graded higher than the other poses. Ha! So that's how you should train when you're posing. Do you hit your mandatory poses. How you look from the side? Cause you can't hide. Cause guess what? Side. When they call a tri When they call a side chest. I'm a judge, right? I say, side chest. Okay, the guy with the little chest is gonna be like this, trying to hide. Like, oh, look at me. Oh, look. And the guy with the big chest is gonna hit you with the, and turn on you, and boom. See what I'm saying? He's gonna boom, and turn, to show the judges what's really up. You feel me? Because a good chest, dominate. Good chest, good shoulders, dominate all poses, everything. And the thing is, another thing about when you compete, and to know your chest is fully developed. I said this before. When you do a front double bicep, you have to forgive me because I'm have my camera guy here, but I also have the mirror here, and I'm pretty lean, so I can't. I keep catching my reflection. I'm like, who is that? Who is that mass jack guy? And it's me. I'm joking. I'm not. <laughs> so when you do your your when you practice your front double bicep, all right, I'm gonna show you a proper. So here. You go up, I'm not going to squeeze everything here, but I'm just focused on the chest again. You bring that tum tum in, and then when you roll your chest out, boom. Think about somebody goes front, this is a guy with no, with no chest, but he has front double by. He goes up here, boom, the chest disappears. No bueno. Here, boom, rotate that chest up, it's still there. Boom, boom, boom. I'll give you guys another little test to do uh, to check if your chest development is on par, because like I said, 
The thing I like, I, I do this for a competition. I'm a, I'm a bodybuilder slash weightlifter because I still like to be strong. But this is the weightlifting way, or excuse me, bodybuilding way to make sure your chest is developed, to practice your posing. So what you need is a water bottle. If you can't do this, that means your chest is not legit. You need to put some more mass on your chest. This is a test. If you can't do this, you should not really be doing cable flies or whatever. You should really, really even be focusing on the, uh, the fly portion. You should be focused on building the mass because you don't have the mass to do this yet. So you just call it a water bottle challenge. So you hit a pose. You hit a pose for your chest. Boom. You probably have to ask somebody to help you. And they'll set a water bottle on your chest. And can the water bottle stay there? When you flex your chest. And if it does, guess what? You got a little meat on your chest. And it will go here. Let me see if we can get it to the middle of the chest too. I'm gonna stick my hands out. This is how you check to see if your mid chest is good. Let's try to sit it on the top. Right in the middle. I put my head out the way too so y'all can't say it's my head. Woo! You see that? So that's what I say. That's why they call it a shelf. It just has to be a shelf, man. It should sit up high, baby. And that's from being strong as fuck, lifting heavy weight, getting a good foundation, and then going into your isolation movements. And everybody says, oh, you can't isolate, but y'all know what the freak we talking about when we say isolation. Stop being an asshole and the point next year. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Some chest tutorial tips. Because like I said, everybody wants a big chest, man. But like I said, not everybody uh, in the, knows how to do it. So absolutely focus on building the strength up with the press movements. You can use a hammer string, that's, that's fine too. But build up that good foundation so you can have some mass and shit to detail. You know what I mean? Get some meat on them, get the meat on them bones. And that's not just for chest. Legs, back, arms, legs, whatever you're trying to do. You gotta be strong, man. You gotta be strong, get a good foundation of strength, then start to chip away. This is Jerron Fit. I hope y'all like this chest tutorial video. Went a little longer than what it was, but I'm gonna chop it up and make it all nice for y'all, man. So holla at your boy. Oh, and don't, man, please, if y'all like this video, like it, share it, and subscribe. So y'all can make stuff. So if you subscribe, you get my notifications, and you get to see all this other cool shit I do. Peace out.